After watching our I-Team report in July, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal sent a letter to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration demanding more information on how often front over accidents occur, calling their data lacking. Well, the agency just released new stats that could offer a better look. Over the summer, an I-Team demonstration found some blind zones in the front of SUVs can be up to 16 feet, putting children at risk. It took 10 children being seated in front of the vehicle before this mom could spot them. Wow, that's a lot of kids, and they're not squished up either. At the time, NHTSA only had data involving deaths and injuries from forward moving vehicles from 2015, but the agency has just released new numbers from a five year span of non traffic related incidents and they show from 2016 to 2020 more than 71,000 people were injured by forward moving vehicles. Almost 2000 died more than 500 in 2020 alone. Senator Blumenthal said he's glad NHTSA has released this much needed data. Telling the I-Team the data makes it clear that front overs will continue to senselessly and needlessly take innocent lives without action. I will continue to press for rapid remedies to bring an end to these tragedies. The reason why this issue is such a priority is it's so easily solvable. We did it for cars going backward. Why not? going forward. Senator Blumenthal said he will be introducing a mandate for front facing devices like cameras or sensors. Now the NHTSA data does not specifically list front over or back over incidents and the agency says those can be really difficult to confirm and currently states also don't really have a way to identify them in crash reports. However, the agency did say they are considering adding new data elements in the upcoming year. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4 I-Team.